NFL Big Game Previews, week number nine. Brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. You can watch and wager any of these games over at their sports books. They got six of them. They're fantastic. You got Samstown, Hollywood, uh, Gold Strike, Horseshoe, First Jackpot, and Fitz Casino. TunicaTravel.com has all of the information that you need, so go check that thing out. You can also go over to WinningCuresEverything.com. You can enter our picks contest over there. It's right up in the top right corner. Yeah, you'll be able to find it. It's easy. It says football picks contest. Very simple stuff. Let's jump in. Come on. We'll make it short this week. There's not not a bunch of great games. No, no, no. Oh, I disagree now. This week is pretty good. Pretty it's, good. No, NFL there's week. there's some good ga- like a few really good games, and then some that are just kinda like, eh, okay. Okay. All right. well, let's go. Uh game number one. I'm trying to get the Snickers bar out of my teeth. Rams at the Saints. It is a pick'em. Over under fifty nine, Sunday, three twenty five PM on Fox. What do you think? I'm really excited about this game. I'm trying to figure out if this past week the Rams kind of playing the Packers to a stalemate is – does that tell me anything about them? Is there, like, any crack in the foundation here, you know? No. Um, I'll answer that. No. Okay. All right. There's no crack in the foundation. They obviously could have beaten – like, they could have beaten them worse. Like, I, I think the Rams are a really good football team. Well, they could have scored an extra touchdown. That's that's, that's what a, I'm saying. That's they about the only thing touchdown. they could have done. Um. But no, I I think but the that Rams, took Ty Montgomery just literally taking his head and inserting it as far up in his rectum as you, a man possibly can. Would it have changed your mind about the Rams if they had given up a late scoring drive, like a late field goal, to Aaron Rodgers to lose the game? Yeah. Well, yeah, because they would have lost the game. I don't think that changes my opinion on them. Mm. I don't think one loss in the middle of the season changes my mind about oh, what that team no, is. No, it, it no it okay. All right, I disagree with that. You're, okay, I agree with that statement. I apologize. I, they're not – right now, they kind of look dominant against everybody until this week. Yeah, I mean, yes and no, right? Like, they, they haven't covered the spread every week. The spreads like they, have been big in the NFL, I understand, though, man. But like, this is not they, college football where people They beat the Broncos beat. about three a couple weeks ago. Like, they – you know, okay. there, there have been some – they've been very dominant in some games, and then other ones, they come back down to earth. And that's what teams do. Like, it's it's the ebbs and flows, man. That's how the NFL is. Now, the Saints ain't on that right now. Saints been rolling. They have been rolling. No, they kind of they slowed down against the Vikings, but they still won the game. And they won it in kind of handily fashion. Like yeah, they, I mean, by 10 points. Yeah, they, I mean, they, they kind of controlled the game the entire game. And and some of that had to do with turnovers. Some of that had to do with but But when you've got a team that is built to be able to take the ball away and whatnot, like – like, I tell you this, I like the Saints team. This is in my gambling picks. I like the Saints team, too. But you know that. I've been talking about them all year. Uh, they're, they're my Super Bowl winner. They're the team that I picked before the season started to win the Super Bowl. I didn't see the Patrick Mahomes thing going on the way it did. Uh, I, I thought the Rams were going to be good, not great. And, uh, and man, I, I I like the Saints team. I think they're incredibly talented. From top to bottom, I think they're probably one of the most, if not the most, complete team. Offense, defense, special teams, everything accounted for. Preview of the NFC Championship game? Uh, yes. Yeah. And I, I don't so. see another NFC team close. I don't either. I mean, the, 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 I thought the Vikings could be there. No, we, I mean, not, they're not, they're right not there. No. And unless they do something drastic between now and the end of the season, no. The Packers, not even close. I mean, my, they're, uh, they're not even By close. the way, for my Vikings over 10 – ticket to hit oh yeah they have to win out they have to win out i've got this <laughs> i've got that same ticket don't worry so it's all right. just like what in the hell that's okay i will tell you this you remember all those over under bets that we went down to tuna mm-hmm. and made that's the only one i'm not cashing i know there's a lot of season left to go but i'm i feel unbelievable about the rest of them yeah i can understand that would you have the bears over the, the bears over like five and a half or six it wasn't much yeah, i got hit the, that like i got soon. the cowboys under eight and a half i think i'm gonna moonwalk to that thing um i've got uh the saints over nine gonna hit that i'm pretty yeah. sure um i've got the packers under ten and a half gonna hit that pretty sure uh I think that's no. I've got more than that. I've got a couple. I mean, yeah, you got you got I made like more. eight or nine. Yeah, you made you made a bunch. <laughs> a uh, anyway. Oh, I don't think your Browns one's gonna hit. 
You're, no, oh, uh, you're probably right. No, that one I'm going to lose too. Yeah, it, what gonna, was it like over five that. and a half? It was five. I over got him five. at five. I got him yeah. at five. And it they was could a, get to five. It was a low number. It was high juice. Yeah. So I think it, I think it used to be five and a half, and they had lowered it and rates the juice up. But. Let's uh let's talk about game number two, Sunday night football. Do you see the Michael Jordan? I was just going to okay. well, ask let's, this. Let's talk about the game first. Packers at Patriots minus six and a half. Over under is fifty seven. It's a lot of points. A lot of points, but okay. to be expected with yeah. these. Yeah. Uh, it's Sunday seven twenty p.m. NBC Sunday night football. That Michael Jordan uh, preview about you know the greatest, the greatest and- of all time. Also, <laughs> look, I that was really really well done. It was well done. Okay. This this is my old man speech for a minute, okay? I know Aaron Rodgers is a great quarterback. Not a good quarterback, a great quarterback. The man has very few playoff wins. He has one Super Bowl. Let's be real careful before we start just hailing him the greatest of all time. Okay? Don't and I don't know that winning one more solidifies it either. All right? You know how nuts it would be if Brady decided to retire and Aaron Rodgers found a way to end up in New England? Mm, they're not going to do that because they're not going to pay him. Well, no, I understand that. I, like, and I, I, and I, so we'll get into the let's get into the breakup of the game real quick. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's. I was I was just let me, let me, throwing but out no, hypotheticals but, but, that would but never let happen. Me, but let me tell you. But let me tell you why that won't ever happen is because one guy understands and the organization understands. <clears throat> there's a 53 man roster and we have a fixed salary cap. Okay. It, you can get paid because you're the franchise, but you can't get paid too much because we have to build a team. We got we got 52 other people that got to be paid. Yeah. And you have another guy that says, give me 40% of the cap. Do what you will with the other 60%. And then goes on TV and complains, we don't have any talent. Why, don't there, why aren't there any players around me? Well, you, well, you know what? Because you take too damn much. Now, are you worth it? Absolutely. Worth every oh, bit of it. Yeah. Not not saying that he hasn't earned all of that money, but I'm quite certain the $100 million that State Farm is paying you is enough for you to say, hey, maybe I take $10 million less and you get me an offensive lineman. Maybe I take another $5 million and you help bump the pass rush or get a, a DB that's worth it. Oh, maybe we can keep the guy that we drafted in Ha-Ha Clinton Dix. It's pretty damn good. Yeah. Or we could just trade him away because we're not going to re-sign him because that's what we do in Green Bay. Yeah. When you know that you like we, your we, season's pretty much shot. We pay one guy a lot of money, and then we just try to figure it out with everybody else. Interesting thing about this, it, the Patriots, if you watch, I know you watched them on Monday night. I did. They are the, I, I feel like the only team in the NFL that – takes what players are good at and puts them in a position to be successful with whatever that is. Correct. Right? So, like, Corderell Patterson was not a standout wide receiver. Like, he, they people wanted him to be. He did really well his first year he in Minnesota. He tried so hard to make him that. And they, But they found out he's a pretty good special teams player. He doesn't run routes, which like, kind of hurts if, you, if you're going to play wide yeah. receiver. Good special that, teams that's player. That's tough. And, and it turns out, like, he's kind of difficult to tackle when you hand him the football. He ain't got to run a route if you just you hand it to him. Get him in open field. And the Patriots found out, okay, well, nobody else wants him because he can't really run routes well. We'll take him for a bag of chips. Yeah, and we'll figure out what he's good at and let him do that. That's right. Like, instead of worrying about what he can't do, the Patriots figured out what he can do. And it's the same thing with every player on their roster. Well, and, and it's not just they're going to do that for them. They're also going to build a game plan against every team differently. Yeah. They're the only team that doesn't say, well, we play this way and we're going to force you to our will. No, they don't. They're going to say, what do you suck at? Hey, let's do that. Hey, this team can't it's cover like, the hey, run. The Chiefs, yeah. like, they, can't stop, they can't stop you on defense. On defense. So but we're just going to score. We're going to score points. That's it. We're not going to punt. Guess what? They didn't punt the whole game. They yeah. scored on every possession and they won the game. That's, that's how you beat a team with really high explosive offense. Can't stop nobody. You play great defense, we're going to get ball control. We're going to keep the ball. We're going to not do anything risky. We're not going to turn it over. We're going to kick field goals. We're going to win the game. It, every week the game plan is completely different. They're the only team in the league that does that stuff. 
the Packers, I, I look, the over-under is 57 here. I could easily see this going over. I could see this as a 35-31 kind of ball game. I have no idea what to expect. I, it would not shock me if the Patriots come out and try to make this a 14 to 21 ball game. I mean, it's, it, I could see them try and make it that. Yeah. But, but I also think that they understand, like, you can play really good defense against Aaron Rodgers, and he will still score on you. But he does all that crap in the fourth quarter. So if, if he's got nine points and he's got to get two touchdowns to catch you, all right, now we're like 17. 21, 27, whatever. Yeah. Like, he's not getting a ton, though. Uh, At 27 is a little, little much, but. I mean, it, they scored it against the Rams. So, and I think the Rams got a better defense than the Patriots. So, either way, I, the six and a half here, I hate the hook. Like, I, I, I hate the hook right here. Um, but, I mean, if I was going to bet the game, and I'm not. I, I'm staying away. I'm just going to enjoy it. I would take the Patriots minus six and a half. I don't think this Packers team is very good. I don't, um, I don't but, know where you saw that line. I checked it before I came on, and it was five and a half. It was already down to it. It opened a at point. seven. I literally checked it before we started recording. Before you got that's here. Uh, it was the MGM line. Wow, five and a half. It's gone down. People are people are loading up on the Packers, baby. People love Aaron Rodgers. Just keep crapping on Tom Brady. People love Aaron Rodgers. I don't know this forty-one year old feisty shiesty guy. Come on now. Yeah, if it's five and a half, absolutely, I'm rolling with the Patriots. Um, if if everybody's betting on the Packers to drive that number down, yeah, I, I'm I'm betting on them even more. Game number three: Steelers at the Ravens. Ravens a three point favorite over under forty seven and a half. Sunday, twelve p.m. CBS. Ravens are uh, on a bit of a slide here. This line stinks like shit. Yeah, it really does. I thought the I thought I make these lines up in my head before I check them. I thought the Steelers were going to be favored one, one and a half, two, close to a pick them. They're on the road, but this is a divisional team. They play each other really tough. When I saw it was a three-point line the other way, I thought that, whoa, I, I'm not – I don't usually miss it that bad. I think it's a mistake. I, I think – well, this is in my gambling picks. Home field advantage means a lot most of the times. Not with not, these. Not like, in divisions where these teams just really play each other every year – They've been doing it forever. They well, and the Ravens beat up on the Steelers earlier in the yeah. year, and it's kind of like it's this the is revenge a game. It's both a whole, of these teams yeah. are completely different today, completely different. than they were then. Yeah, just insane to me. Insane to me as well. The Steelers are playing a lot better. Um, game number four: Falcons at the Redskins. Redskins minus one and a half, over under forty seven and a half. It's Sunday, twelve p.m. on Fox. Uh, I mean, the Redskins are six and two. They're six and two, man. Six and two. And and the Falcons here, I mean, you remember they opened up one and four. Yeah. They won two straight. They're three and four. If they can get this win, you get that the puts them at 500. Mount 500. 500, middle of the year. I mean, they, they got a shot at the playoffs at that point. Like, because the back half of the, of the schedule is a little bit more reasonable. I mean, they got road games, but it, it's more reasonable than the front half was. So, I don't know. Um uh, I think it's interesting because the Falcons have played significantly better. But the Redskins, at the same time, like, if this turns into any kind of a shootout, the Redskins are in serious trouble. I mean, they, they have... But the they, Redskins haven't allowed anybody to play them in a shootout all year. Like, this defense is really, really good. But I don't know that they've really played, like, an explosive offense. I mean, when you look at the teams they've played... Okay. So, I mean, you see what I'm saying here. So, right. like, now, this will be an not, interesting game not, stylistically. Do you think this defense for the Falcons is actually going to – like, this is one of those games where the Redskins should just be able to ball control the hell out of it. And they should hold the ball for 40 minutes. Yeah. They, they should. should. They should They should never go out of bounds and just get six yards of play, nine yards of play, eight yards of play. Just, just beat them to death. Kick field goals if you have to. No one cares. I mean, this, just keep the other team on the field because this defense is garbage. Th this is the week that the Redskins are supposed to not cover. But they they've kind of stopped doing that though. This A year, bit. no, this year they've stopped doing that. Hey, over the last three weeks, that's yeah. right. They've won three weeks in a row. They've never now, done they, that before. Had had the Cowboys not screwed it up, then oh, yeah, the, the Redskins had a lot to do with that screw it up though. 
They controlled a lot of that game. To oh the no, very I'm not end. talking about like the very end where where they have to try the 52 yard field goal instead and, of 47. And the Redskins screwed up the a field lot goal before in. that. Just yeah, a lot of things crazy happened. Agreed, agreed. Um, I don't know. I like the, it, it, this. You know, what? I'm not even going to tell you. This is my game of picks. Okay. And so, uh, game number five, Chargers at the Seahawks. Now you wouldn't think that this is like. An interesting game. It's sneaky good. It's a sneaky good game. Uh, it's uh, Seahawks minus one and a half. The over under is forty seven and a half. Again, that's three straight games at forty seven and a half. Uh, Sunday three oh five p.m. on CBS. This is a fun game. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this game. The Chargers coming off a bye week. Uh, the eight. Seahawks off a big win at Detroit. Correct. Seattle is five and three right now. I'm about to say I was not expecting them to be that good this year. And me either. And and kind of an offensive explosion. Like, who are they uh, throwing the ball to? Who's running the ball? I, I don't even know. That, <laughs> I can't tell you. That offensive line was supposed to be one of the worst in the league. and uh, Russell Wilson well, found a way to run the ball. Russell, Russell Wilson had a comment today. He said, I'm out there cooking steaks. Like, I, like I can do whatever I want in the backfield. Yeah. I'm like, hang on. Wait a minute now. What what happened? You're supposed to be one of the worst. You're good. And you got a couple of these teams Chemistry. that are supposed to be pretty good. And they're awful. Yeah, chemistry is uh, has worked out pretty well. Their uh, their three losses, they lost by two at home to the Rams. They lost by three at Denver in the first week of the season. Yep. They lost by three at Chicago. No, that's it. I mean, that's it. Yeah. So and they're favored over the Chargers, who we both like. Yep. Uh, so I'm not sure what to make of the Seahawks team. I think they got some of the cancers off their team, and Man. and it might have helped. Man, yeah, maybe you're right. So, who knows? Who knows? Honorable mention games. Let's jump into it. Thursday night, 7.20 p.m. This is terrible. NFL game. Network slash Fox, whatever, whichever thing you want to watch. Amazon Prime, I think, has got it, too. Whatever. Raiders at the 49ers. Two one-win teams. I, I will be watching the, the Central Florida boss. Uh, I, uh, I'll be flipping back and forth because nope. I want to see. Nope, not me. I want to see who is going to get the number one draft pick next year. You won't know from this game. What game do I need to watch to figure that out? I don't know. The Raiders win one more game. They got the tiebreaker over Cleveland. Well, that's what I'm saying. If the Raiders win this game, 49ers I'd, win another game. 49ers Cleveland, are three-point favorites. I, I think I'd probably take 49ers. Cleveland going to get that first-round pick again. <laughs> game, uh, Monday night game. Let's jump to the Monday night game. 7.15 p.m. on ESPN. The Titans at the Cowboys. Did you see this line move? I, I What? Well, move? I saw what it was tonight. Uh, it opened at four. Okay. It's six and a half right now. Oh, that makes me feel so much better. Yeah. This is my gambling picks. Is it? Okay. Oh, we, yeah. Yeah. Go, go watch the gambling picks segment. Yeah. Hit that subscribe button well, on YouTube, by the way, you. if you're doing that. Listen, I got the Titans coming off a of bye, and I got the Clapper just, just hanging out. Yeah. Now, I think they had a bye, too, but he was in L.A. goofing off. Man, not get, come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. Come on. Texans at the Broncos. Broncos one and a half point favorites. The Broncos just traded Demarius Thomas to the Texans. I had this game as a gambling pick. Took it off the board. Took it off the board. 3.05 p.m. on CBS. Another one of those West Coast time things. Uh, I'm not sure what to make of this because I still don't really trust in the Texans, even though they're on like a four-game winning streak or five-game winning streak. I can't they? figure that out. No, I mean, they won five straight. Five straight. That's that doesn't happen bonkers. in the NFL. No, it's it's bonkers to me, which which makes me kind of like the Broncos a little more here. I, but, I I love the Broncos until they traded away Demarius to the Texans. Now I don't think he's going to play this week, but it's just like that's so weird, man. I, oh, I, I agree. Like, like I don't. I, I think you trade Demarius Thomas because Cam Sutton is so good, right? You can. There's enough room to play them both. This, you know. No, but I mean, you got Emmanuel Sanders too, and whatever. I'm I'm. Rubbing my face, I got paint all over me. I forget. It's, a, it's the Halloween edition, by the way. I'm trying to. That's why my to, face looks like complete crap. I'm trying to sneak Halloween candy going on over there. That's, I mean, this is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Is that it? Uh, last game: Bucks at the Panthers. Panthers minus six and a half. Uh, is there anything to the Fitzmagic stuff? Mm. Six and a half seems like a pretty big line for a division game. Yeah, I'm staying away. I'm not. I'm not touching this game. I'm not either. Uh, if there's it, any chance that James Winston will touch this field, I'm out. Get 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 to give me the Panthers and I don't care. Well, no, I, look, uh, uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick has uh, it, like he's been announced as the starter. Starter, but like if he comes out and throws three interceptions, are they going to be like, oh, let's put Jameis in now? 
And then he'll just come in and throw three more, in which case, like, we probably should have taken the Panthers. We should have. We're going to be probably, sitting here saying, why the hell are we not betting the Panthers? I, I'll probably, I'd probably roll with the Panthers. If you want to bet on this game, <laughs> probably roll with the Panthers because you've I'm got staying, no idea what's I'm happening. staying away. It's, it's bad football. That's a, yeah, it's, it's bad football. Like, the Panthers aren't bad football. No, I like Panthers. But uh, but you never know what the Tampa Bay is going to do because last week they were down 34 to, what, 16 or something. Put Ryan Fitzpatrick in, came back almost one damn game. Yep. Had a had, it took a last minute field goal. I know. Just ridiculous. Busted my cover. I was right. covering the whole game. <laughs> that I is spent the that money. NFL Week Nine preview.